Bruni. Today's free art lesson is going to be a, a little primer on color, and we're going to call it Color 101. I'm really surprised when I do my workshops that so many people uh, don't know that much about color. When I say, let's put some warm colors on, let's put some cool colors on, they, they look at me, you know, like quizzical because they don't know what that is. So I thought this would be a good thing to do is cover the warm and the cool colors, um, you know, and how they relate to each other. All right, let's go and do a color wheel so I can I explain to you how the warm and the cool col colors work and what's considered warm, what's c considered cool, and why. I'll give you a real easy way to remember is that warm colors are warm like the sun. So anything that's red or orange or yellow is going to be a warm color because it's like fire, it's warm, it's, it's, it's the colors of fire. When I say cool colors, you usually think of the ocean, the sky is a blue, purples, they're cool, you know, in temperature is what that means, in temperature. So let's go around the color wheel and let's, let's uh, see how something may, be, may seem warm, but it's, it's really cool. Um, you know, the, the yellow's easy, almost everybody knows that. Uh, yellow we'll put up here as one block, okay, that's one primary, that's a warm primary, that's yellow. And then, of course, red is also a warm primary. And then you also have blue. Now, these are the three uh, primary colors. This is a color wheel. So what I'm doing, I'm just putting blue and red and uh, blue and red and yellow on there. All right. Now, we know that if you mix yellow and red together, you get orange. So I usually just use mine out of the tube. No sense making it if you can buy it in a tube. Uh, so I've got orange on there. And then when you take uh, yellow and blue, you get green. So I'm going to go ahead and put the green on there. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the last uh, secondary color, which is purple. If you mix red and blue together, you get a nice purple. So I, go, I use uh, cobalt or ultramarine cobalt, ultramarine or cobalt purple, violet, I mean. This is violet. So it's, got, it's, per, it's blue with some red in it. But look how different that is than this one. Okay, so there's your, there's your color wheel. Now, the easy way to do is just separate it, is just draw a line through it and just say that everything on this side is warm. These are warm and these are cool, okay? Purple, blue, and green. Now, that seems pretty simple, but watch, watch what happens. If we say that this is a warm, if we say that this is a warm red, watch what I do. I can make a cool red. Now, it's still warmer than these, but it's going to be a cool, a cool red because this is a warm red, but watch what happens when I when I put a little spot over here and I take a little bit of cool color and I add to it, can you see how this red here is cooler than that red? Even though it's red, it's a cooler red. This is a cooler red than that. So, you know, it depends on the tubes that you buy, whether it's warm or cool. Now, this to me, in my eye, this is really a, a warm green because it has so much yellow in it. Watch if I can make it a cool green by darkening it and adding a little bit of purple. I can make that green have more blue in it. And look how this green is a cooler green than this one. So this is what's meant when somebody says, uh, uh, you know, Put some warmth in there, or those trees are cool, or those trees are warm. If I take yellow and add to it, look how much I just warmed up that green than this one. But it's still a cool color compared to this. Why? Because it still has blue in it. This, as long as there's blue or purple in a mixture, it's going to be considered cool, and this is going to be considered warm. So. Uh, the, the way I paint, I usually do when I'm painting outside, I paint all my warm shapes will be the sun shapes or the shapes that the light is hitting on top of. I usually make them in really, really nice warm colors and make sure there's a lot of warmth there because this, I'm trying to show in the painting that sun's hitting it. And whenever I paint shadows, I always put a lot of blue in it or purple in the colors 
to, to cool them down and make them look like they're in the shadow. Now, on a, on a different uh, kind of day, like on a day that's cloudy, usually you have really cold light and you have really warm shadows. So if you have warm light, you have cool shadows. If you have cool light, you have warm shadows. So it depends, but this is what's meant by cool and warm colors. I hope that helps. Um, go ahead and play around with them and, and see what colors you're, you know, learn how to make a color cool. Learn how to make it warm uh, by playing around with it. If you'd like to see more about me or some of my artwork, you can go to mikerooneystudios.blogspot.com.